The German uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel is uh, getting a ceremonial welcome. The world's most powerful woman in India. There you can see her accompanied by Prime Minister Narendra Modi with whom she will be holding her talks later, one-on-one -on -one talks which are aimed at boosting her trade ties between the two countries. In fact, she's uh, accompanied by a big delegation of cabinet ministers, top officials, as well as CEOs. In fact, six cabinet ministers she will be with and also she will be visiting Bengaluru. Uh, Prime Minister Modi, in fact, tweeted when she landed this morning, Namaste, Chancellor Merkel, warm welcome to you and the delegation. I look forward to fruitful discussions and strengthening India-Germany ties. German Chancellor receiving that ceremonial welcome at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. She is here in India on a two-day visit. Uh, later today, she will be holding uh, talks with the Prime Minister, delegation level talks. And there you can see uh, being introduced to the Cabinet first with two external affairs, Minister Sushma Swaraj. It is significant this visit because it's not just at a time when she uh, is finding herself being a serious contender for this year's Nobel Peace Prize, but it's also because her country, Germany, is, is facing a significant crisis, the European migrant crisis, and of course uh, the ongoing uh, deluge of migrants from the Middle East and Greek. The, the Greek financial problem is something that she's already been given a lot of credit for, and that's why she's being considered as a serious contender for this year's Nobel Peace Prize. But this is all about trade. This is all about business. And uh, during those uh, delegation level talks that will take place later this morning, the German Chancellor expected to convey concerns of German industries in uh, proceeding with planned investments in India. Both leaders are likely to exchange uh, views on regional global issues as well. And then on the 6th, they are scheduled to visit Bengaluru, where they'll participate in a business event. Uh, both uh, Ms. Merkel and uh, Prime Minister Modi will visit uh, Bengaluru, where they will participate in a business event hosted by India's software industry lobby, NASCOM. Though India-Germany bilateral trade is currently pegged at around $18 billion, these are the numbers we are talking about. The trade history has actually spanned about 500 years. As many as 1,700 German companies are doing business in India today and are providing jobs to roughly 400,000. But it's still not seen as uh, reaching their true potential India-German relationships. So that's, the, that's the, the, the working chart that they're going to try to work with. Talks between the two nations will be aimed at. All right, there uh, they are in front of the media. Let's listen in. Regierungskonsultation soll sein, dass wir erstens auf der Ebene der Regierungen sehr eng zusammenarbeiten, insbesondere was die Breite unserer Zusammenarbeit anbelangt: Wirtschaft, Landwirtschaft, Entwicklungspolitik, innere Sicherheit, aber auch genauso Fragen der Verteidigung und der finanziellen Beziehungen. Wir werden auch internationale Konferenzen vorbereiten, so zum Beispiel die Klimakonferenz in Paris. Und ich erwarte mir natürlich auch, dass Deutschland einen Beitrag leisten kann zu der Frage des wirtschaftlichen Aufbaus Indiens. Der Premierminister hat ein sehr ambitioniertes Programm zur Entwicklung Indiens und Deutschland möchte hier ein guter und wichtiger Partner sein. Well, what I expect from this uh, third um, intergovernmental uh, consultation is that, first of all, this is um, a consultation at the government level that is to demonstrate that we cooperate indeed very closely uh, and on a very broad basis. We're cooperating in areas such as the economy, um, agriculture, we're cooperating in um, interna internal security matters, we're cooperating on development issues, on defense matters, and also on financial relations. We're also 
during these intergovernmental consultations are going to prepare a number of international conferences, a number of international meetings, such as the upcoming uh, COP21, the climate conference um, in Paris. Um, and uh, we also um, expect to be able, uh, from the part of Germany, to lend a contribution towards the further economic uh, build-up of the country. We all know that the Prime Minister has outlined a very ambitious uh, program for the development of this country, for the economic build-up of this country, and Germany fully intends to be a good uh, partner and uh, supporter in this endeavour.